Good, good evening, yeah. all. Yeah. I guess we'll call the meeting to order a little later than planned at um, 619. All right. Um, I'm going to go through our agenda for the evening. Um, call to order permit inquiries, which we have uh, a couple, at least a couple of. Approve the minutes from our December meeting. Um, Barbed Hart subdivision is postponed yet again. Um, Robert Franks would like to talk about uh, meetings and recordings and, and other topics in that, other things in that in the topic area. Get the administrative officer's report and then hit up our zoning bylaw update um, once again that we've been working on on a monthly basis. And then community comment for anyone um, that has any additional topics that they want to share or comments they want to make. Um, so welcome everyone. We're doing this as a hybrid meeting, both um, in in person and um, zooming. So um, um, we are are we recording, Sandy? We are. We are recording both in Zoom and also Orca. And, and Orca's on also on Zoom. Just so you know. All right. Well, this is we are recording this in a few different ways. Um, so the uh, recordings are accessible in the town office by going in and visiting with the town clerk and assistant town clerk, and they can set you up. Um, it might be advisable to give them a heads up that you're coming in so they can find the right file to open for you on, uh, on, their, on the laptop that we use for Zoom meetings. Um, this is a hybrid meeting, um, so it can be difficult to um, be fair and have, let everyone have a chance to speak. So please use the um, hand raise function on your Zoom. Uh, it's at the bottom. Um, you see a little icon at the bottom, a hand raise when you want to speak, and we'll recognize you in the order we see hands go up, um, and that'll be helpful. And then folks here in the building um, can raise their hands as well um, to be recognized to speak, and that will keep the, uh, the flow orderly. Um, let's see. Um, uh, we'd like to um, have... Um, uh, Planning Commission members introduce themselves just so everyone uh, that's that's here and on Zoom land knows um, who they're working with. So I'm Dan McKinley. I'm the chair of the uh, Planning Commission. I'm Sandy Haas. Julie Martin. Greg White. David Curtis. Um, Dan Hendricks, the zoning administrator. Great. Thanks. Um, and Christine Mayer is um, going to be a little bit late. Not too late, because we started so late, around 6.30 or so, we'll be expecting her. Um, so, um, right, so um, let's see, permit inquiries. Um, let's see, Regina, I think um, you have something that uh, you wanted to bring to our attention. Yes, we, um, can everybody hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, I don't know what happened, but <laughs> could it be? Karina just popped in, I'm not sure. Okay, so my husband and I, we needed, uh, we're interested in getting a grant for, to put in a brewery and it will not change, uh, you know, the demographics of Doc's building, it would be above it. And we had sent in a letter because in order to get the grant, we need a letter of support saying that the town is in agreement with it. I mean, we don't have much information. Um, perhaps, if you can still hear me, I can't see anybody. All I see is the name Karina. So if you can still hear still, I can oh. hear you. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> but I know the town can hear me, right? Yes, we can still hear you. Okay. Oh, there you, oh, there you go. You're back now. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I'm just going to put my husband on and maybe he can clarify some things. If anyone had any questions, um, I know I'm just going to say briefly that we heard that the, um, I guess the fire department or the firehouse was looking to put in a brewery, but they, uh, something about the waste of the brewery was an issue with septic. And uh, the only other thing we would like to add is that we would be putting it into a tank and then the, it would be pumped out and then distributed to the local farms if they needed it. It's like okay. the grain is, is like pure protein. But I'm gonna put my husband on and if you have any questions or concerns, you know, you can ask us. We're just in the permit kind of 
application. Application right now. So this is my husband, Vincent. Hello there. How you all doing? Happy New Year. Good. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. So do you have any questions or concerns? Is there an issue in in uh, not approving it? Or like I said, we're just in the, the planning stage. Mm -hmm. um, I have a question. Um, is this uh, primarily for use by, by the uh, in the bar? It is in the bar, yes, and local restaurants as well, if you want to get into that. And, you know, just doing, I'm uh, not doing canning or bottling right now. I'm not even looking into getting into that because that requires exterior canning and bottling. Plants to come in and sometimes in the snow in the winter, it's not possible. So it's going to be slims getting done. So it's going to be for the 16 taps in docks um, and as well as local areas as well, restaurants and bars and alike. And but I want to do grabbers to go as well. So. We were also, um, you know, hoping to put in some living area up there or a catering hall. There are, there are just some of our options. We haven't really, you know, gone. We have to get an approval first yeah. that, you know, the town would be interested in letting us do a brewery. So that's where we are right now. And we're hoping to put some living area up there, affordable housing. I mean, not much, but maybe a couple apartments. So we have lots of space up there. But again, either or either. Yeah. Know, more intensely leaning across it. The cost of beer is going up, like the cost of everything, as we all know. It didn't come back down in the pandemic, it's going up. So it's a struggle, you know what I mean? And to do more affordable beer, I'm not promoting drink driving in any sorts of um, dimension, but more affordable for people to go out and enjoy themselves rather than everybody. I mean, the fisheries went up 50% the price of beef, and it was just everything went up during the pandemic. I ain't coming back down, like the cost of diesel has gone up as well, astronomically. So everything's on the rise. I just want to be able to produce cheaper beer, you know, because it helped us and help everybody else. At least everyone can have a bit of a social life, rather than being stuck at home. If you want to be stuck at home, you can buy a growler kind of a thing. And then there's going to be two bathrooms put in. There's a disabled bathroom downstairs in the back there, um, which is just a storage space, and then another bathroom upstairs. So it will be used as a, a catering event space, um, as well as an brewery at the end, uh, kind of a thing. This is kind of all ideas I'm shooting around. Mm -hmm. Okay. And everything would happen within the existing footprint of the building? I'm so sorry, we didn't hear you. Do you, do you see ex expanding the edges of the building in any direction? No, no. If anything, we'll have to put a, a fire escape up, you know, um, just for health and safety fire issues. Um, so that's going to be the only thing, but that could be a metal stairwell going out the back or the end of the building, so to speak, or a doorway. Uh, but the exterior is not going to change, no. Unless the professional um, uh, engineer turns around and says, I've got to have protruding eye beams coming out to support the weight, which is after this stage, I have to then go to a professional engineer to find that if I do need a floating floor I-beam system, how that gets, you know, coming out of the building and might have to have concrete pads or going into the car park area or the garden area, then I'll encase that in wood if need be, if that has to happen. As it, again, you know, it's a post and beam um, building and it's just a waste of space actually, but it's beautiful. So that's why I really wanted to do something up there. But again, waiting on a few, um, <laughs> look okay. to see what is actually needed but this is the first step yeah yeah you know if the town says okay then we could you know yeah any questions from um planning commission members that is the space above well in the what was the old barn it's the space in the old, above the old barn, the second floor of the barn? Yeah, it's above, it's above docks, yeah, it's above docks, right where the bar is, actually, I'll show you, there's a big space upstairs, I mean, it's 35 foot tall up there, you know, it's, it's a gargantuan space. Yeah. And it's absolutely stunning up it's there. It's so beautiful up there. And it's just, you know, as I said, it's an 806 barn, it's going to be a beautiful spot, you know, or a big screen, you know, movie night down there or something, I don't know, it's just, you know, it can be, a, a, a useful space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, I did take a glance at the permit that was hanging, and it talks about adding a bedroom and some bathrooms as well as, as the brewery. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, no, that was because, sorry. Yeah, so that would require a permit um, for for that those additions yeah. even to the existing building. 
Um, yeah. And in my mind, uh, brewing of beer would be, you know, an accessory use of, of, of a tavern. Um, that it wouldn't be something that would require a permit on its own. Um, it would be part of the tavern. Does anyone have a different view on, on that? That's right. It's not real different from boiling soup stock. <laughs> we got soup. Yeah, I'm not doing all that. Big pot. <laughs> a bigger pot. Yeah, you got it. So we, we were hoping that, you know, I had submitted a letter to Julie, and it's just a letter of support. So I was hoping that someone from the select board or somebody would sign that just to get us started. And then we would have to, once we get that letter, we have to go to Rutland to some to a different department, show them that the town is okay with it. Oh, yeah. And then we get another support of proof from the nearest biggest town. And it's like all these steps that we have to do for, yeah. for the yeah. grant. So if everybody's okay with that, maybe you could let us know if someone would sign that letter for us. So I guess I have a question for our select board member yeah. uh, because you um, you sent this to us. Right, we brought it back um, to here, figured that we wanted to make sure that the planning board, it was okay with the planning board. It was something that fit in the um, parameters of the plan. It was not clear. There was no description of whether or not there was an extension of the building or not, which it appears there's not. I saw you also submitted a um, driveway permit. What Are you adding a driveway or what's that all about? There's no drawing no. about where that's going to be. Um, it's just uh, when we get the um, the 2,000 gallon HD tank that's going to be pumping out the protein waste that the town septic system can't handle, so we dispose of that properly, it's going to, uh, we're going to have to resurface the driveway, you know, because we're going to have to dig a big hole, uh, basically. That's what that was for. And also, I want to put in some solar, but that's going on the roof of the farm. And then at some stage, I don't think I actually wrote it, but I think I've got to come back in and do it. There's going to be a covered carpool with solar on there as well. So, you yeah, know, that's, that's a different permit, though. So that's the only thing about the driveway. It's got to be resurfaced once we dig a big hole in it. Yeah, you don't well, need... There's big holes in it now. <laughs> yeah, so you don't need a, a permit to resurface an existing driveway that is um that is more for oh. like a new driveway cut so oh okay all right just said connecting yeah. to a uh, local road as well so i thought all right well i'll put that in but anyway okay thank you for that but it's yeah, we're, we're yeah. not sure what we're doing mm -hmm. you know like we, this is our first time getting perm yeah. permits yeah. and all this stuff so we're new peace help us <laughs> so what we could do it, it i think the um what you propose what we've seen in writing here um would be uh, permittable under you know, our current zoning, um, as long as the footprint, the size of the building isn't changed. Um, no. And so we could send a, a note to the select board to that effect, and then the select board could um, sign a letter of support for you yeah. if they if they deem, deem if they deem fit. Yeah. There. At, yeah. at this point, at this point. Is it enough to just say that that uh, that your brewery plans are approved? Because I, th I think we need a little bit more on the apartments before we can talk about. Yeah, right. I mean, um, the brewery part. Yeah, we're thinking would be appropriate, but we'd have to go through um, you know the permit process for adding a bedroom and, and bathrooms. We're fine. That's fine for now. We're just yeah. trying to get the brewery yeah. started. Not, not the bedroom. It's the bathrooms, yes, you know, because that's the additional bit for upstairs and all, and where the brewery's going to be, and then downstairs bit, that's it. Not the bedrooms. It was going to be either or either. But if the breweries would go, then that would be... We're just awesome. adding the brewery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then from the um, Planning Commission perspective, you're good to go on that, and we'll... Um, We'll, we'll tell Dune as much. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dune. So Thank you very much. Yeah. Would they need to do a permit for a carport then, if that's a permanent structure? Yeah. It would be, because that would yeah. have setback requirements. Yeah, that would be so. a separate separate deal. But yeah, for now, that's not what you're planning on doing. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's in the future. We're not applying for that right now. We're just going, yeah. we okay. just need the brewery letter of support yeah. for, for right now. Okay. All right. So do the select board will take care of that letter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Brilliant. Thank awesome. you very Thank much. You. All right. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us tonight. Good luck with your grant application. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. All right. Um, Karina, did you have a 
A permit a question for us. Well, I talked to Julie um, as I am, my parents and I are in talks about subdividing part of their current land. And she said I should attend this meeting to kind of get information on how to fill up this subdivision application. And so here I am. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, subdivision application. How many, how many lots are you thinking of creating? Just one. Just, oh, so just one. one off from, I mean, my parents have one, but then it's just going to be a small piece. Okay. So off. that's that, just to be clear, that makes two. Yeah. You're one additional lot, right? Yes. Yeah. When, so. you, when you cut it in half, it makes two lots. Yeah. Okay. So, so that would be a, a minor subdivision. And you can I'm look sorry? at our um, subdivision bylaws, and it will you know, direct you what you can do, what you need to do. Um, you need uh, road frontage. Um, what's our road frontage? 150? So, so where, where I'm carving out, um, I'm sure you're not you feel familiar with my parents' land, but up in the woods, there's um, what we call a camp, and there's a class four road that goes to it currently. So it'd be that existing road. Obviously, it wouldn't be the town it would be a maintained road by, obviously, us. Um, so that's kind of where it would be. Mm. Okay, so that's not a class four town road that it would be? The road is not maintained by the town, no. Okay, but it is a public road, it's just not maintained. And you would, your, your lot would be along that road? Yeah, it'd be the end of it. Okay. Right. I don't know if anybody goes snowmobiling and they go on my parents' land, they go by that camp building. It's basically that area. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Minimum acreage for the mm -hmm. camp. Minimum acreage for the camp. I'm not hearing what you're saying. Minimum acreage. Oh, yes. Um, minimum acreage for that area that would be um, conservation residential up at that elevation. Maybe. Yeah, pretty sure up by the camp. Uh, would be three acre minimum. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and survey. Yeah, it would have to be um, get a survey. John, you know, where the new lot is and where it's part of the big existing lot. Um, all the adjacent landowners, um, their names yep. and addresses on the, on the um, survey. Um, any well, utilities? The addresses don't have to be on the survey. Okay, just, just the just names? On, on a list. Okay. The way we need so the address. survey, um, does it need to be like an official survey or like stamped or drawn out? The, yeah. The, um, an, yeah, an official survey um, okay. by a surveyor that they can um, create a, a mylar, a plat that can be um, recorded in the town office. Okay. <coughs> Gen generally, they make us a paper. They make a paper copy, and we look at that. And then, if that's okay. approved, then then the mylar is done. It doesn't make sense to do the mylar until we look at it. Okay. Does that have road access? Um, uh, frontage? Uh, not if it connects, kind of right away. Okay. Good. Stuff. I'm not understanding it that way. I'm understanding it that that is a town four, class four town road. Oh, it's. I meant road. I, I don't think it's a town road. Period. <clears throat> no. Oh, okay. All right. It's so, a trail. Yeah. 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 So, so it's not so, a town road at all. So it, so you, it, it would need to have a deeded, deeded right of way, um, yeah. and our and the minimum the minimum size for the right of way is 30 feet obviously the road is n never that wide but but the but the re regulations require that you have a 30 foot that it have a 30 foot right of way to i guess that's route 73 right well or it's no she's oh, you she would you be coming off of um where are you wing farm road oh yeah oh sorry yeah it catches to that road yeah yep. yeah so that's where the access yeah. would have to be and then it says zoning which property is located. So you said the conservation residential. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's in our conservation residential district. So that means that um, a minimum lot size is three acres. And then, um, yeah, that's the, the key there. Okay. 
Um, I think that's really it. So I just submit this application. I can send it to Julie with the fee, and so that takes about 30 days to send all the um, adjacent landowners notification. Uh, so um, we, we need to have it. So so we meet on the first Tuesday of the month, and we yeah. need to have it pretty close to the beginning of the prior month to to meet to meet the uh, the morning. It ha I have it has to get to the Herald and be in the paper for for 15 days ahead, and that means getting it in the paper by the end of the first week. So so figure figure if you want us to hear it in March, we have need to have everything by the beginning of February. Um, and I think the slow thing for you here is going to be the survey from what I'm hearing from everybody who's trying to get surveys done. So that's the place to start. So you need to survey before you send the application in to the town? Uh, it, the, the, survey, the survey is part of the application. Got it. Okay. Yeah, the survey will show the, the, the original lot and the, the new lot created and the acres of those two lots. Um, so that's part of the application process. Okay. This is all And Karina, depending on what your timeline is, it sometimes if, if you have time, it can be helpful to do a preliminary um, visit with us, bring your map in and say, this is what I'm thinking. How does it look? Do I have everything on there that I need? Um, if you have time to do that, it's, it can make it a lot easier in the in the long run. But okay. what if you're and in a rush? No. And that and that we could do pretty much at the last minute. So in my what I just said, if you if you had everything together by the beginning of February, if you let us know, we can we can mm -hmm. look at it at our February meeting and warn it for the March meeting. So so do something informal with you and the maps in February, and then and then tell all the neighbors and have everybody come in in, in March for the formal hearing. Okay, got it. Perfect. All right, I think that's really it on my end. All right. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. You're welcome to stay. <laughs> I, I'll stay as long as my children allow me. I'll say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Any other permit inquiries on the line or in the... In the uh, meeting room here. Okay. Hearing none. Um, I don't know who the um, 4998 is. It's, it's, yeah. Oh, that's Robert's phone. Okay. Right. Um, Did Maya make it into the meeting? She's Maya is here. Okay. Just got I'm an doing, email that she was trying to get in yeah. a little while ago. Okay. She's in and, and taking uh, minutes. Um, is it minutes? Yes. Um, our next um, topic is the approval of the minutes from December. Um, any um, comments, uh, changes, anything uh, from your review of the minutes? Sandy and I reviewed them shortly after Maya uh, sent them to us um, the day after the meeting, I think it was. And I reviewed them again today, and they look good to me. Oh, we have Zach. To what was written about our last statement, I'm looking at this letter. Or wrote that. So, the last meeting, we told you that the proposed minutes had proposed minutes had never been filed. Um, we kept checking online, and you guys filed nothing. Um, and finally, you come up with something in December, and we're just lucky that late November, right? Someone told us they were going to have that meeting, and we were a few minutes late. We're dealing with so much in our lives, um, but we told you these minutes are distorted. Um, Can you remind me which minutes you're you're talking about. You're from talking August about the December, 2nd, and then we came from back August, and then September, yeah. and then. Okay. Talking about Lyman Hall and Quarry yep. Hill. Okay. So we made it real clear to you guys that we didn't agree with your minutes, and you know that. So um, we're just confounded. Um, and once again, your proposed minutes for December are not honestly written. So um, 
you know, if you tell me all for of December, this is void, it's you, too late. You can't do that, at least for what we said. I don't know what anyone else has said about this. But for, for December, if, if you have something substantive that we can talk about here. Um, and you'll change it. Then we can, well, you need that's to what change doing, it. That's what we're we, doing right now is, is reviewing those minutes. So if you have something that you yeah, think is well, inaccurate. It's what we keep saying, what we said in August, what we said in September, and what we said again in December in the three minutes that um, you gave us each to speak, which is that the plat map is a representation of legality in the public record since 2003 of Lyman Hall Incorporated that um, sucks people into Lyman Hall shame, intentional shame of deceit. Um, they use that because all the properties sold at Quarry Hill, they make money off of through claims in their contract for a site agreement contract, which is based on that plat. And it's not, you guys keep saying we don't have jurisdiction, but you do. And your claim that you don't have jurisdiction is actually a claim that you, that's actually exceeding your jurisdiction, because you don't ha you're exceeding your jurisdiction in ultra-virus activity through claiming no jurisdiction. This is really Dune's job, and honestly, what we think is Dune is being pressured by Sandy Haas and Dan McKinley, who have conflicts of interest here, because you both were on the 2003 Planning Board Commission. Um, when this went through, we don't know what happened back then, but we're asking you two to please recuse yourself from the planning board regarding Lyman Hall and Quarry Hill. This is the zoning administrator's job. It's up to Dune to deal with. So we finally have a letter. I threw it together today in Slapdash Manhart, and that was like nine pages. It's not what we started before, which is very legally intensive. Um, we've been so overwhelmed. I've had chronic Lyme disease. We're dealing um, with intensive pro se litigation with Lyman Hall because they sued us, like we told you in 2019. And there's too much in our lives to deal with everything we're trying to deal with at once. So we haven't finished that letter, but it doesn't really matter. Um, when we came in August, we gave you dirt affidavits of admissible evidence. Um, signed under oath under a penalty of perjury by a long-term real estate lawyer and an architect um, that makes clear everything we're saying. They're not just allegations. There's very serious violations of law of state of Vermont, local zoning, um, which goes into Lyman Hall violation of federal law and other, other things. But in terms of what relates to Dune and the responsibility here, is pretty basic. Um, the plat map, Lyman Hall never submitted it to the Planning Commission in 2003, and that was very intentionally done. Um, there's no grandfathering here because nothing was ever illegal before. And what happened before then with a hippie commune at Quarry Hill, totally different thing. But once they wanted to make it into an official Quarry Hill development um, of Lyman Hall Incorporated, you could, they could not just put this flat in there and put it out as a representation Whoa. of legality. You can't do that kind of thing with illustrations of duplexes, which we relied upon in <clears throat> buying in 2010 and 2019, and we've been really hurt by that. If Thank they, you. I'm going to, um, so something that you would like changed in the minutes is to represent that uh, Lyman Hall plat. Um, is that our message is that it's a plot that's a representation of legality in the public record that pulls people into to buy a Quarry Hill to get sucked into their shame of deceit um, and that it needs to be removed. Specifically as regards our house, if you look at things, there's two changes of use on, that are shown on the map relative to the uh, grand list. There was never in the uh, Tony Deslor attorney Deslaurier uh, affidavit. There's no permit for any duplexes up at uh, mm. Quarry Hill. Um, in 2003, that plat map uh, showed a uh, division in two buildings: NH three five three four five zero seven and uh, NH three four NH three four five one two. Now, on the plat map, all the numbers are mixed up. It's NH354. Now, so that's, a, that's a my... That's a my... If I could interrupt you, um, please. 
Is, is this information in the letter you have there now? That's, yes, there's, there's yeah. been talking about this Most for a few months. Yeah. And the letter like I said, is what it's, you were. It's really it would be great you. if we could have that, because this is too much information for me we to understand. assimilate. We understand. This is really and, for Dune to, to deal with. But the change in use is, is a uh, type of violation thing. that can't be grandfathered. And, um, None of this can be grandfathered. And, and the plaque really can't be grandfathered. We're really happy to have that letter now and be able to understand yeah. a little bit better. Yeah. Um, yeah. And if we but again, we make we'll clear about it. If we have to get our attorney involved yeah. and um, to understand it, then we will. Um, okay. I know this is. So are you ready to give us the letter? Yeah. I mean, this isn't while. the letter we were writing. That's very it's a, it's legal. It's, but it's it's good, and there's we gave you copies again of all these affidavits. So are these multiple copies of the same letter? Um, no. Yeah, if other people want copies, but it's mainly above all for you to, because you're the zoning administrator. Well, and yeah, there's a letter and then there's um, affidavits. Yeah, yeah, the affidavits. Um, so I have one, I've got a hand raised here, yep. um, then I'll go to you, Christine. Um, Robert, did you, you have your hand raised? Would you like to speak on this? Yeah, I, I, I would like to speak on a number of things. Uh, well, we're sorry. talking about the minutes right now, so um, is there something... Um, uh, about approving the December minutes that you want to speak on. Dan, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, can you hear me now, Robert? Yeah, go on. Yeah, the, the topic at hand is the December minutes. We are going to um, uh, review and approve those. Uh, is there something specific about the December minutes that you'd like to speak to right now? I know there are other issues that you yeah, were talking um, about. Dan, to those. Dan, I'm sorry, you're 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 underwater. I I can't hear you. Hmm. Um, I don't. Yeah, I'm not sure why, Robert. Um, Maya, can you hear me? Okay. Let me test our see if our microphone's working. Okay. Um, I can hear you sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. You get muffled after a while. Your yeah. talk is clear, and then it goes muffled. Yeah, so sometimes doesn't work for That's public gorgeous. meetings. It might be the interference. Um, yeah. Oh, this, no, that's it. That's just, okay. Could these be interfering at all? With, um, so we have Orca well, microphones the, here. The only thing would be the wireless. But, uh, this is Kristen. I can hear you guys great. I had a hard time hearing Jeannie speak in um, the audience, but as for you guys at the table, I can hear you good. Thank you. Okay. Right, I'll try. Maybe someone else's voice might be. <laughs> Robert, the, the question, we are right now looking very specifically at the December minutes. And we heard from Janine. She doesn't like what we said in the December minutes. Do you have any comments on the December minutes before we take a vote to approve them? Yes, I have very serious and dire concerns regarding the minutes from August. No, September, we're talking October. only no, about. No, 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 no. You, the the town of Rochester and the people that supposedly approve minutes are in delinquency. August, September, October, and November were delinquent. And now you're you're putting pressure on me to say, do you have any comments? About December, the December minutes. I we're not we're not working on December. Yes, yes we no. are. That is the that is the agenda item that is on the table at well, this moment. Well retroactively retroactively uh, there are derelicts in, uh, of duty for August, September, October, and November. Yes, Robert, you are on the agenda, and you, we will hear from you, and you will have an opportunity to talk about that. Right now, we are on the issue of approving the December minutes. They have been read by everyone on the board. Janine has spoken and said what she doesn't like about them. Do you have anything specific to the words in the December minutes that you would like to say right now before we vote? Yes. They've been censured. How so, Robert? I brought up two of the same issues in during two meetings, listening to all of you guys uh, changing your bylaws and rewriting the rules of Rochester and permitting. And 
uh, it's not working out. So how do you want to move forward here? So is there something in the minutes that you would have us consider changing? Are we well, I brought up, I, I'm going to repeat myself, Dan. I brought up the same subject for two planning and zoning board meetings and the minutes aren't included on the website. Why is that? The, the minutes and are- ironically, isn't it funny that uh, Janine and uh, Bruce and other concerned residents of Rochester have the same thing in common? So, no, I'm not, uh, so, might, you know, so, so, um, so, Robert, we're talking just about December, um, uh, and we we know that the minutes from October, November, September were late. We're talking about December. Um, uh, the minutes are not a um, a transcript of our meeting. They are just a summary of what was discussed. Um, high points are noted. If um, there's something in there that we missed, please let us know. Otherwise, so we're, we're ready to take a vote here on whether we're going to um, approve these minutes Dan, or not. Dan, thank you. You're a very well-spoken man. But uh, during the last planning and zoning board meeting, the entire board wholesaled approvals for minutes for August, September, October, and November. Can you tell me what line item on the agenda in August was approved. Point of order, Chairman. Hang on a second, Robert. Yep. Uh, point of order, I'd like to remind us of Robert's rules of order, that public comment is only allowed for three minutes and then should be stopped. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, Christine just noted that um, you know three minutes is what we're allowing folks to speak um, on a topic. Had plenty of time to oh, tell us. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Yes, sir. This is not public comment. No, I tell Christine no. she should revisit her uh, open meeting laws. Yeah, Robert, we, we need to we need to move on. If you don't have anything specific, I know that maybe there's something in there that that you, something you said in the December meeting that didn't get recorded, um, but it, it was. Uh, not critical to the notes. It wasn't a decision around that. So it's critical to the town. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you don't have anything specific, what that actually was, then then we can't can't make any suggestions. I just it just described to you what is specific. I brought up two of the same issues, and the minutes do not reflect what I presented to your board and the person in charge of the minutes so why why is why are the why are my comments and issues not in the minutes um <laughs> i don't know how to move forward robert i don't know i don't know what it is you said you keep saying you brought something up twice um and i don't know what that is so i don't know whether it was well, well, substantive Dan, enough you're, you're to chair enter it of in the, the uh, planning and zoning board you should know what issues i brought up twice in a row and whoever controls the minutes sensitive to them hey you brought up a bunch of things i don't know what it is that that you wanted included that that i can't remember robert so um that's, that's, we're gonna we're gonna move on robert and um we're gonna have a take a vote here on whether to approve the minutes or not um and we'll continue to do the best we can with our minutes. Um, and as I told you in a few emails, if there's something specific that you think is missing when the draft email draft notes come out, please let me know. I have, is, I have a question, Dan. I have a question. According to quick, the Robert. open meeting, according to the open meeting rules of Vermont, when a meeting adjourns, how many days does uh, the town have? to list the five list Robert of, five Robert we, we talked about this you and I on the phone and through the emails well, uh, five five days in August equal four months 
Yeah, yeah, we're admitting that the August, September, October didn't work out well, Robert. So uh, we're going to move on. We're going to take a vote here on the minutes. And thank you for your interest in the efficiency of our, our, our um, planning commission here. And we'll continue to strive to get our notes accurate as well as on time. And I think we have a, um, as you and I have talked over the phone and through email, we have a plan to do that with Maya as our clerk. Um, and then you've got a, uh, an agenda uh, item which way, we can talk more about. Uh, this. Again, thank you. Um, I'm still on the agenda to speak on very serious other concerns. You bet. You bet. I got you on the agenda. Okay. Uh, can I have a motion on the... Uh, so moved. Move to accept the motion of the minutes as... Are you going to make motion? Sorry. Move. 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 Approve the minutes. Yeah. Approve the minutes as written. Uh -huh. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. As opposed? No opposed? Objection. Yeah, um, we don't have enough information that the information that you just provide us are going to give us the opportunity to know and understand what what it is you're asking us. Um, well, we, we told you. Like, you, you need to read our letter then because we, will, we clearly don't that. have enough time. But. That's we object to we've the August, for the September, for, for, for and months. December minutes. There's just no duplex up there. They, There's no duplex. A, can't. And we're going to learn that Nothing when we read your letter. And we're going to see what we can do. It's not just the duplex. It's yeah. none of it's legal. Yeah. And we're going to come to that understanding through reading your letter, and then we'll be able to make some some sort of movement forward. Well, like I said, yeah. I mean, it's Doing up to you. been yeah. how many it's, months that we've been requesting for you to write clearly what you're asking. Like so I now said, we now we have the, that in hand. Yeah, and the yeah, yeah, didn't have that in hand administrator handbook yeah. states that all we have to do is a verbal uh, talk about what it is. Well, it's actually, it's very if simple. It's not clear what it you're is. It is very simple. We yeah. asked for the for the for the plat map to be taken out. Of the land records because by so, Lyman Hall, right. okay? okay, and so, that there be no of this because there is no flat map. Okay, we're going to move forward. Okay. Um, we are we're going to um, attend to to your letter there and your concerns, and I think we've got something to work with there now that we have to your be letter. Some communication, um, yes, particularly from Dune. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, okay, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming again, and thanks for bringing the letter. I think that'll, that'll help yeah. us move forward. All right, um, our next agenda topic, which we've had monthly for a few months, is um, Barb Dart subdivision, and we're going to postpone that one more time, uh, but she is working on a, on a map. She has a survey, and I believe that we will be able to, to take it up formally in the end of February. Okay, great. Looking forward to that. <laughs> um, our next agenda topic is um, one that... Um, uh, suggested by Robert Franks, um, and I condensed the topic into basically our, our meetings and recordings. Um, there was um, a lot of other uh, points in Robert's email when he requested the um, the agenda topic, and I'm going to I'm going to go over those, but I didn't want to put them all in our in our agenda here. Um, just uh, so I'm going to give some preamble to this because uh, Robert and I have been talking quite a bit, emailing, phone calls. Um, but the rest of the uh, Planning Commission has not been involved, save for a couple of things that I had to talk with um, Sandy about. Um, so um, we've been emailing, I don't know, two or four times a week and, and had one nice phone call that was about an hour talking about um, the minutes and talking about the minutes from August, September, and October, which were never completed, drafted, never completed, um, never approved. We talked about that, and at the same time, Robert and I were, were talking about that. We were working on a solution because we weren't happy about that either. We know that uh, we were required to get them um, to the public within five days, at least a draft, and we weren't meeting that that um, open meeting law requirement. So we've been working on something, and we went to the town to, um, to uh, talk about hiring a clerk to help us with the uh, meeting notes. Um, because the select board had approved us, our, our budget, uh, for, um, for a, a clerk to help us with uh, the meeting notes. So we had that um, going for us. We just hadn't moved on it. And um, then we did at the same time Robert was, um, and I were talking about this. So um, when 
I talked with Robert. He was uh, made him aware that we had um, Amaya uh, New Roots as was going to be our um, our clerk and do our minutes, and that we would strive to get those um, to the public and posted um, by within five days. And in December, I think we beat that. We did it quicker than that, but we did meet that, and we'll continue to strive to do that. Um, and to make them, the minutes as complete as, as necessary. They're not a transcript of uh, uh, the meeting or of the recording, um, but they hit the high points, the topics that were discussed, uh, decisions that were made, and action items that are, um, that are, that are asked for uh, among us on the Planning Commission. Um, we weren't happy about not meeting the, the getting all those notes. Um, um, on the website, available to the public, and as the chair, I take responsibility for, for that. Um, I didn't um, push on that and make that happen, and I could have done more. So, uh, so we are doing a little bit better, a lot better on that. Um, Robert and I also talked about concerns about recording um, the meetings and making people aware that meetings were being recorded and introducing who was um, on the planning commission, so we've been doing that as well. Um, and he had some good suggestions there. We're following those. Um, um, recordings are not required by law, but since we've been doing these meetings uh, through Zoom since um, COVID, I'll say, um, we thought we might as well good service to the community to record it since we're um, doing them on Zoom. So we've been doing that. I don't know which of the meetings over the past two and a half years have been recorded. Um, I don't know if it's been all of them, um, but if there are meetings that folks want to look at the recording that ORCA hasn't uh, recorded, then they can go to the town clerk and see if it's available. Um, I don't look at the, the, the recordings, um, so I don't really know um, how many meetings are, are complete and in there. Um, I know that at times we've had technical challenges and um, we've stopped recording, um, or maybe we didn't record at all, I don't know. Um, most recently, Robert asked um, several questions leading up to this um, agenda item, and I'm going to go through those point by point, Robert, just because um, I know you didn't think that the, the agenda topic I gave really gave um, credence to all the um, questions you had. So um, they were primarily about the, um, uh, us bringing on a, a clerk to help with the, with the notes. Um, he wanted to know what mediums were used to advertise this position. And um, the position was not advertised um, because we went to the um, town clerk and said, how do we go about it? Excuse me. Yes, Robert. Hello. Yes, Robert. I, I think we should, I think, I think we should uh, hold from your uh, pontification before I list what I'm concerned about. Okay, I'm going to finish the, the uh, topic that um, you brought to us and answer the questions you had in your letter, and then, then you can go forward. Um, so uh, Maya was already a town employee working for the library, so we were able to use the budget we had to add to her hours um, to serve as the clerk. Um, the hourly rate you asked about, we had budgeted $15 an hour in our um, budget, and that's um, you know, available and open to the public to see that. Uh, there was, we did not do a job description, which you asked about. Um, recording the minutes, uh, the um, requirement is that um, uh, Maya get those to us within a day or two after the meeting so we can fulfill our five-day obligation. Since we didn't advertise, there were no candidates. You asked about how many candidates there were. Um, and then uh, the date hired, I don't know when the library or the town um, hired Maya. Um, that might be a question for the town clerk. And the total cost? Uh, for the clerk at $15 an hour for about four hours a month for the next six months, about $360. And I don't know, you asked about other benefits. I don't know about those. You'd have to um, talk with the uh, select board about any benefit packages the town employees um, get. So those are the topics we've been talking about and an answer to the questions that you raised, Robert. So. Um, so what, what else, what do you want to, do you need clarification on any of that, or, or, or do you have additional um, questions, comments? Still there, Robert? I see your hand is up. 
Oh, yeah, I'm here. I'll be here till midnight. Okay. Um, do you have any additional questions or anything that I that I missed uh, regarding your questions about um, our clerk? I'll wait until I'm uh, addressed as uh, uh, a participant in the meeting. Yeah, okay. Your hand is up, so go ahead. Well, let's make this real clear. I've been discriminated because I don't live in Rochester. I live in Bethel. And I'm just going to give you a quote since you guys have reflected onto the select board. Leslie on re recorded Orca Media is captured saying, Kristen, just connect him. That way we don't have to listen to him. Does anyone Leslie is? Hello? Yeah, Robert, the last word or you said there, you said, does anyone believe? What, what? No, I didn't say, does anyone believe? Oh. I said, does anyone in the room know who Leslie is? That's what I just asked. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yes. And, and who, is, who, is, who is Leslie? Can you let the other folks that don't know, can you tell them? I think it would be more proper for you to say who Leslie is. <laughs> the chair of the select board. Right. Okay, so think about that quote. Chris did disconnect him so we don't have to listen to him. And Kristen obeyed Dunes Leslie's command. That's a totally improper. Robert, do you have some? Do you have some um, questions about the planning commission? Because we're we're I'm not able to address anything that happened at a oh, whoa, whoa, meeting. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a second. Uh, this is you. Re, you uh, went back to the select board. Sandy Hodge mentioned the select board, and I'm mentioning the select board. So now you're demanding that I focus on the planning and zoning board meeting. That's where we are. So would you like me to continue? Yes, continue, but as as it, it would be helpful if it was about the, the planning commission. That's what we're here to discuss. And, and the topics just mentioned. Uh, well, let me just say this. I am of the people of the state of Vermont, and we the people of the United States of America, and I am here con with concerns for the rights of our people. And I could be calling in from Camden, New Jersey, and I will be discriminated against. Does this Who is that guy? Is the, the topic where we started? Well, well yeah. Does it? You might want to think about it. He's an agenda. Because there are new land owners, owners that have been watching these videos and saying, you know what? I don't want to be part of the town. Because uh, any executive board member of the planning and zoning board member uh, board is more uh, incriminating to the person that just wants to open a brewery above Doc's Tavern. He won't get his permit till next year. So, if 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 uh, Dan and I don't. Well, I'm going to ask a question. Who are the people that approve the minutes of any planning and zoning board meeting? Top three. The entire planning commission um, approves. We have a motion to approve and then we vote on it. So it's all of us. So you're saying everyone included sitting in the room is guilty of a delinquency from August, September, October, and November. Um, no, I would take that responsibility, Robert, as the chair. Well, how long have you been the chair of this uh, planning and zoning board? 
Gosh, um, I don't know. He's been in a long Five. time, and he does a very good job. <laughs> Five or seven it. years, maybe? I don't know, Robert. Well, do you not know the importance of minutes that the public is waiting for? I Karina do. and I do. other people that are asking for permits and requesting permits are putting their precious lives on the, on the, on the line waiting for you and the rest of the team to approve a financial and economic development in the town of Rochester. Excuse me, I'm going to jump in here for just a minute and say that what gets reported in the minutes has not, is, not, is not the permit. The permit process goes forward with the administrator make, reviewing the permits and granting them, and he reports those to us, and they get sent out. And if the minutes haven't been posted, that does not mean that somebody did not get a permit. The same is true of subdivisions. When we have a worn subdivision, we hear it, we decide it, and the decision goes out. If the minutes are late, that has no impact on those. those. Robert, you don't frankly know what you're talking about here. Sandy, I think you should reflect on what you just said. So let's go back. Sandy, I'll ask this question to you. How long have you been a, a board member of the Planning and Zoning Board of Rochester, Vermont? Since March of 1982. Robert, we're going to give well, this a, we have, we have a problem. Robert, we have a, a, some more work we got to do tonight, so we're going to give this a few more minutes. <clears throat> uh, we understand you are concerned about the minutes not coming out. We've um, addressed that. And we are going to do better, and we are doing well, better. Again, so, again, Sandy just admitted that she's been a board member since 1992, and she's delinquent in making certain that the minutes from August, September, October, November. Why doesn't she take? Why didn't she take responsibility to say, "Hey, Dan, we have a problem." Let me share this. She did, Robert. And maybe, she did. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She maybe did. this will orient. Maybe this will, my comment next will orient people. Okay. I attended by Zoom a planning and zoning board meeting. Dan, I mentioned this to you. I said, I don't know why. I just decided, you know, I'll just watch this meeting. So the meeting ends, it adjourns. And then four days, five days later, I called Julie in the town clerk's office. And this is very important for uh, Sandy Haas, the former state representative that probably crafted or was included in crafting a lot of these laws, Julie said to me, Robert, I was just looking at October or November, I think it was October, and Julie said, Robert, I've been warning the Planning and Zoning Board people to manage their minutes. And I said, okay, I'm, you know, I know I'm, it's, the meeting was Tuesday night. I was calling on Friday, which was like three or four days. So then I checked. And then I realized August, September, October, and no, they, were, they weren't there. How in God's world can a person on the board of a planning and zoning board meeting for almost 30 years not take responsibility to say, hey, Dan, we need to get the minutes up. I don't really care what the minutes are. So there's a real dysfunction. Hey, thanks, I Robert. Think thanks, thanks for that feedback. And, and we, we, we know that that happened. And you and I have talked about it. And we know that it was not good. And we've made some changes. And you know about those. And did you look at our December minutes when they came out? They were on time, if not early. Well, so we're uh, moving forward, Robert. Is... We're moving forward, and we're going to wrap this up. You've had uh, plenty of time to talk about your concerns. Is there something specific you want us to do uh, that we're not doing now, that we didn't do in December with our minutes? And then we'll, then we'll close this topic. Well, I'm, uh, I'm surprised that the Herald isn't there tonight, or the Mountain Times, or anyone else. Uh, Tim Calabro ignored my request to send a reporter in, and that's very suspicious. By the way, they're the official newspaper of Rochester. He ignored. 
I spent almost 40 minutes with Janet, his secretary, on Friday, trying to find anything to do with Maya's hiring. At this moment, Maya, if you didn't hire, if you didn't follow state municipal hiring rules and laws, Robert, Maya's let's, Robert, job, Robert, I'm going to stop Maya's, you right there. I'm going to stop you right there. This is not a time for you to address Maya or anything that she's doing. You address me if you want to talk about uh, anything about Maya. So we're going to wrap this up and uh, we're going to move forward with our um, updates on our planning commission. Um, I thank you for joining. I'll continue to answer your emails, and I would like you to just watch what we're doing and see that we're doing our minutes correct correctly. We're getting them done on time, and if there are future concerns, we'll we'll keep emailing. Um, and I, I've been responsive to you. And uh, well, it doesn't matter to us that you're a Bethel resident, and state statute said it doesn't matter that you're a Bethel resident. You know that. Um, so we'll continue the relationship that we have. Um, so feel free to email me. Well, I would recommend that everyone present tonight look into state municipal hiring. And um, if Maya's taken minutes this evening, they're null and void. Okay, thank you, Robert. We're going to move on to thank our next, next topic is our um, updating our... Oh, no, next topic is um, our administrative officer report. Got anything for us, dude? Um, this is what we already talked about with the Huntington House. Okay, right. Yep. Got an actual permit. Yep, yep. And so there's, um, even though they're not doing a um, any change in the footprint, it's, um, I think that we call Thank this you. a small, is it really even a change of roofs use? Expansion is that the, the permit? Is there bedrooms on the bedroom? It bath? does say that they clicked bedroom, bathroom, other nano brewery with so, additional event space. But so I would suggest that you be clear about what you're what you're approving and what you're not approving. Yeah. Um, did, did they not just say in that conversation? Well, that I think there's two things going on. They're, they're looking they for couldn't something. do the brewery. They would. Well, I, that's else. correct. But I think what they're looking for noon initially is just uh, support letter for the grant. For the grant, right. And that's brewery only. Right. And if, only. if that goes forward, it sounded like they wouldn't move forward with the other. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I agree. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me for a minute. Maya has a question. Oh, go ahead, Maya. Hi. I cannot hear anyone except Sandy and occasionally Dan, mostly Dan. So I can't hear what Dune's talking about. I heard him say something about a footprint. I have no idea what Greg and Dave and Christine were just talking about. Okay, so so Dune, uh, Dune was asked to, to give an administrator's report, and he basically said that the administrator's report was the request from the Huntington House, which we heard earlier. Thank you. Okay, thanks for checking in. You're doing a very good job. Yes, Thank yes, you, Maya. And, I'm, and Maya, I'm really sorry that we didn't that we didn't advertise trying to find somebody to work three or four hours a month. It's hard. Um, <laughs> Thank you. So back to this question, then it is. Um, Did you come around with yeah, yeah. So you can. Um, well, I should pick that up. Can you hear better now, Maya? Hello? Yes, thank yes. you. Okay. Thank you very much. That's cool. perfect. I don't know if I need to be over there because that's going to show me. Yeah. 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 Um, so I guess the question is to what extent do they need a permit if they're just expanding their, um, their business of running a tavern and then expanding it to do a brewery? I mean, their real request is a, a letter of support from the town, and that way we—that's why we recommended they bring it to the planning board to clarify if you know if that was acceptable or not. So I, I, I go back and forth about this. If if it was exclusively for the use in the in their own bar, mm -hmm. I would say that it was part of their business because he's talking about about selling it to others. 
I think maybe it is a change of use, but I'll, that's Does just... Does it become uh, some sort of business within the business then at that point? I mean, uh, I, well, separate, the, the question separate is business? whether is whether it's a change of use of the property. And mm -hmm. I... And I'm... Yeah, it's like a you said, if it was exclusive mm -hmm. to the bar that exists, it would be accessory, but yeah. completely. Mm -hmm. Right, right. That's, mm -hmm. good. That's a good distinction. And is there a threshold? Is it, it's primarily for the use at the bar, and, you know, there... I mean, what, does... I guess what does it hurt to just give him a change of use permit? In case he decides to sell. Well, and particularly because he wants to... He says he's going to sell it to... You know, another bar, another another, to a restaurant, so that that covers that. Well, that and and maybe. but I, I do think I do think we want to um, to document that they say that they're going to take their their waste the waste yes, the waste so off site mm -hmm. by tanks. I think that's Not that's part going of the, into the town that's subject. part of the application, and I think we should treat that as as a commitment that they've made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And can, <clears throat> if, if it's a change of use, we do a change of use permit, we can... It's just put another box to check off yeah. here, other yeah. than they're saying they clicked off renovation addition, not change of use, because they're renovating. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, is that technically just storage at this point? I mean... Yeah. So... But it, it is a little bit different, right? If they're, if they're selling beer wholesale, that's mm -hmm. a different than a retail restaurant business and bar. Yeah. So it's, it's light manufacturing then. Yeah. 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 And that's uh, allowable in that, in that zone. Yeah. Yeah. And I think no they're safer getting their change of use permit and they're not hamstrung. Mm -hmm. No additional hoops for the change of use permit? No, we'll just put conditions of uh, approve that it's um, allowable in that zone, and um, mm -hmm. and we put the conditions that their the waste from the brewery does not go into the town septic that they're putting in a not septic undue holding impact. tank to the mm -hmm. pump. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. That'll make Terry good. happy. Um. On the adding bedrooms, how are we addressing that with our septic? That's not on that application. They, well, they did check that, but it sounded like they were just checking all the boxes. I, I, I asked them about that, and they said that was later. That was so, later. So I think I think I think I would put withdrawn on that because okay. that's what they told us. Mm -hmm. um, bedrooms and bathrooms. That was kind of like yeah. Plan B. The yeah, bathroom? Yeah. No, they would be. Well, what, in the bathroom. well, you can have bathrooms. It's it's it's. Right. You can have you can <laughs> have one gets... you can have one bedroom and twelve bathrooms. <laughs> but you can't have twelve bedrooms <laughs> and one bathroom. <laughs> that don't work very well. <laughs> it's crazy, right. but it's the bedrooms that drive it under state law. Hmm. Because that's what people. Are. Right. Well, that's what drives drives occupants. Interesting. People don't sleep on their toilets. Usually. <laughs> it's been seen. <laughs> okay. Okay. That the only one? Yes. All right. It's All right. time of year. Thank you. Thanks, Dude. Yeah, thank you, Dude. Thank you, thank you for um, all you do for the town, Dude. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yes. Um, thank you. Um, regarding um, Janine and Bruce's letter there, I, I'm not sure how to proceed. I mean, for me, I don't know if I'm going to understand the legalese and all the stuff that's in there. What? Yeah, I what, think what there's a the couple copies. Thoughts? Do you want one? Hmm? I'll take <laughs> one, but <laughs> I'll take I'll, one. and I'll read it. But um, I guess maybe I'll read it and then I'll say, "Ooh, my town I lawyer should be involved. whether it's um, it's under our jurisdiction." This sounds like this is more of a legal. That's issue. what I'm wondering. So. Well. Let me tell you, I went. I looked at the map. So, so number one, number one, any of us can have a survey done of our property and record a survey. Okay, the fact that you're recording a survey doesn't require anything from this board. What's required from this board is if you want to have, you want to take the property that you have and, and put a new line in it. That we call that a subdivision, and we look at that. 
Lyman Hall did not subdivide the property. I understand that there are arguments that maybe they should have, but, they, but there was no subdivision. People do not own their land up there. It's like, it's like building a, ca a cabin in the, in the, on, on Forest Service land and paying le a lease. It's more lease. like a trailer park. Hmm? Or, like or like a trailer park, yes, yes. So, so, so they yes, technically so, do not even own the so, land on no, which the no. building sits. So, no. so yes, Lyman Hall had a sur a perimeter survey done of its property, and they recorded it, and that's what they're complaining about. And they, and and it shows it shows the houses, and I think it shows maybe some some dedicated land that you get to use with the house that you're renting. But it's all Lyman Hall property. If you look at the grand list, it says no land, you know, structure, so, no so land. So they just showed the lots. It's, it's very similar to mobile homes. So as you, as you say, anyone can do that and just... Any, it, and yes, and, and so, so what, what, he, what they're trying to say is that, is that the map should, the survey should be removed because, because we, didn't, we, we didn't approve it. But we didn't have to, well, so it's they, fine to... They, why and is it even um, recorded or, or filed? Or? Well, um, uh, what I know is all secondhand, but there was, after Irving died, there was a, um, a dispute between the heirs, Irving's heirs, and the, resi the rest of the residents, and that ended up in a lawsuit. The lawsuit was either mediated or arbitrated, and I don't remember which. I think it was mediated. And the settlement was this agreement that people would, would have ownership rights and structures, which they hadn't had before, and that Lyman Hall, or, you know, a.k.a. Fisk, um, would continue to own all of the land. That was, that was, and, and, and you know, one of the, one of the affidavits that they gave us last summer is from one of the residents who didn't like the settlement. Well, you know, I, there were, I don't know how many people were living up there at the time. I, I was, I got my information from Peter Riley, hmm. but, because he was one of the... Were the, were the of, residents represented as a whole it, by someone? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so then they yeah. were all, they yeah. all entered into that agreement together yeah. then. Yeah, So bottom line in one sentence, what are they asking? To remove that map? Uh, that? Yeah. We're not sure. There's a lot of stuff. That, that, I, I'm not sure. That, that, is, that is one of the things. They, they want us to declare it an illegal subdivision. I but think. it's not even but a No, I know. That's why I'm right. that's why okay. I went through this. That's why we need the letter. Is there another copy? If there are yeah. more, you're welcome to have them. I was going to. Oh, three copies, I guess. Go ahead. Dan, you could, you could have one and then just get it to me. Man, so. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so we'll do a little reading, yeah. and then so we'll. So my for the for the minutes, I think it's appropriate to just say that we that we're trying to figure out what the problem is here, um, and much of um, um, if if there is a legal opinion to be given, it shouldn't be from me. I guess I'll put it that way. I'm just okay. telling you. I'm just yeah. telling everybody what I remember about the situation. So, so bottom line, too, people own right. the homes up there. They just don't own so any they, land, they, so they can sell their house. Yes. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. yes. Just like in the trailer park. Yeah, it's a, it's a trailer park. Right. Mm -hmm. The same kind of model. Gotcha. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. I prefer to think of Forest Service, but <laughs> anyway. Hey. Well, Forest Service then. Well, yes, right. you're in there. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. I, I missed. I missed that. Onward on the agenda. All right. <laughs> Good thing we didn't have Sarah sitting here all this time. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sorry. Poor Sarah's going to need a lot of notes back. Yeah. So here we are. <laughs> um, like to work on this for about a half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, um, if we can get go that long. Um, using um, Sarah did a lot of work here, um, and she sort of gave us a roadmap to the changes that she was. Um, suggesting so what I'd like to do is kind of go through what she what she proposed through the definitions and then the uses um, and the exemptions and then go through um, each of the districts and, and then the standards and we'll see how far we can get all of it <laughs> covers it all 
She did some serious work. She was very she good. Amazing. <laughs> I actually, I actually, and that's why it takes her, us so long to try memo. to do it. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. God we've got her. I mean, like, yeah, I feel the cringe though. I did not doing that, but it was in two seconds. I think the documents are ready to go through from start to end because it, it following her questions, it bounces I still have all my notes from last I don't know if that would be more appropriate. Um, all my highlights. I did a lot of them. I mean, we can try. I tried to follow her comments and questions, and it was very difficult. Yeah. Yeah, that did bounce. A um, little bit for me, but I think it'll work if we go through these sections. Um, yeah. For me, you know, going through the definitions first makes a lot of That's sense. That's what I did too. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then when you get to those topics, right? You have wow. a background yeah, but, from. Yeah, I, yeah. I get that part, but it, yeah. I, 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 besides definitions, for me, it was just easy to start at the beginning of the document and read well, through Well, and, and I found for the uses, I finally found it easiest just to work with this thing that she had done, which what she did as a separate. Yeah. As a separate thing, mm -hmm. because I couldn't, I, I couldn't go back and forth yeah. easily from one place to another. But right. this, this has all, and she then, and then, well, we're not there yet. But, but then I went through and tried to write in some uses mm -hmm. that other towns had that we hadn't. I'm nervous about trying to think of everything, but yeah. Yeah. But, but let's start with definitions. Yeah. All right, go ahead. all right. Let's start with definitions. Um, go. Do we need to stay for a while? Dude, we're going to be going through what? Um, this document oh. as best we can. Okay. Just, yeah, just go. Sure, sure, sure. Um, oh, it's yeah. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think it's great if he can stay. Oh, yeah, but okay. Yeah. He is a yep. busy man. Okay, continue on. All right, so um, primary and secondary um, retail is one of the, the early questions we have back from when we changed our, our town plan. Um, and she used the definitions from the regional plan. Um, they looked okay to me, and I'll note that um, secondary retail included a maximum of 4,000 square feet. Yeah, I, I bet that, I bet that, that was covered a lot for secondary. What page are you on? Um, down? Or uh, are you on page? It's on page 78. According to my notes, we're starting um, starting at the bottom and working our way up. Yeah, just starting with um, definitions. I'm, I'm working on, on her. Unfortunately, that's the her notes. The way she she um, did it through her notes. Oh, I see. So um, oh, okay. if you yeah, have those that, are, those are Sandy. Maybe we, I I can go to the definitions. We can. Oh, and then come back. When yeah. Alpha, Let's just go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. I guess that would be easier for folks. Yeah. Okay. All right. What would be the most helpful yeah, at I this think moment? Going through alphabetically. Um, alphabetically, with you know, just where she has track changes. She has, yeah, okay, so many changes. Mm, our definitions. Okay, yeah, accessory dwelling unit. Yes. So it'll be. Um, we'll just go through each one that she's got changes. If anyone has something, speak up. If not, I'll give it a second, and then I'll move on to the next one. <clears throat> Accessory dwelling unit. No comments. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I know. Oh, wait. Is it mine? Right? Yeah. Okay. Accessory. So, so now we're... Okay. Are you following me, Dave? I'm uh, I'm watching some squirrely action over yes. here. Squirrely or squirrely? <laughs> squirrely, well, squirrely. Uh, squirrely, squirrely, <laughs> squirrely, yes. That'd be alliteration. Being that I'm the non-technical individual here. Okay, anyone have anything on accessory dwelling unit? Going right through anything that she's got edits on. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you have. I so you're going, I just... I'm on page 57. Everybody there yet? Yeah, I know. No, we got truncated yet. here. Definition to win the reader. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, they're in here. Would you, you like me to give you more space? You know what? That's okay. I mean, you can have all of this. I don't know if I block your view. No, no, no. I can't see anything in there. Just go ahead, Dan. All right. Sorry, we're on. Okay. 
Are you guys ready? Uh, I'm going to use the control F function, which is to find the find what going. we need. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully. Thank you. I, I, I was fine. Are you there? I was, yeah, I'm, I was fine. Yeah, okay. No. Not hearing anything on accessory dwelling unit, accessory on farm business. Anything there? Okay. Moving on. Um, just some comments in the accessory structure uh, or use. Anything there? If if someone could give us a, a page number, uh, number fifty-seven. Is in my okay. Thank you. Track changes copy. Thank you. That's helpful. <laughs> Get that text. Get no that. worries. No worries. Okay. I'm finding it. <laughs> I don't know. Like we, got, we got Miller's telecommunications on page 57. Yeah. That's what we've got. You just got to go to look up definitions. He's starting right in yeah. the section called the, definitions. The pages were a little funky too from what she said things were. They, they weren't. I'm not sure why that happened. But So just go scroll all the way down to the definitions. Appreciate the patience. Patience, sir. <laughs> patience. Patience is. Did, did I'm going to be a patient. I miss Sarah's big screen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm down up to affordable housing. I like it. Yeah. You know, it's nice. They added the definition, statutory definition. Good. Okay. Great. Good. I think I had something. You close? You in the A's? Yeah, we're with it. Something that actually says a word that you just scroll spoke. down. Um, All right, one of the ones that she mentioned was um, a, a definition for boarding house. Right. A building providing two or more lodging units that are not equipped to serve as independent dwelling units and that are rented to residents for periods of 30 or more consecutive days. I had a question about that. Okay. How is that different? How are we distinguishing? It's very close to the definition of group home. Uh, group home is a, a, a group home is a statutory thing. Disabled. For disabled. Okay. Um, and I, I actually, I have a question about that because I don't think we can exclude them. I think that she, she got the definition from one place, but I think that there's a law that says that you have to let them be everywhere. And that's a, that's a question that I have for her. Okay. okay. So the question I had for there is, uh, um, explain the 30 consecutive days. Does that mean a person it, stays it, for 30 days? It, yeah, if, you're, if it's less than 30 days, it's not a boarding house, it's a lodging. Ah, she, has, she, did, she, did the, she did the lodging and the, and the, um, the short-term rental and the boarding house. So a boarding, a boarding house is, some, is basically where you would be living with somebody. Um, and as opposed to, you know, coming for a week with your family uh -huh. and leaving. Right a room. Yeah. So a lodging unit, then they're just basically referring to a room or potentially a room and a bath, but. Yeah. Yeah, and it could be the same for a boarding house. Yeah, right. yeah, um, yeah. They're not apartments. They're not equipped to serve as independent dwelling right. units. Mm -hmm. So that's the boarding house is a um, longer term stay versus lodging a room. It's a shorter term stay. Mm. Is that the distinction? I wouldn't. There's, I mean, there's long term logic too. Well, but but it, but I think at that point it it. it well, it probably has a kitchenette. Yeah, you're, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thirty or more consecutive. You can stay in a lodging for thirty or more consecutive. You can. Days. You can, but it's not the. It's not, not the, the. It's not right, the, norm. the norm. Yeah. Okay. All right, I understand it. It's fine. Yep. For me. All right. Oh, in there. Moving down. Um, campground was another. 
used or intended to be used for temporary occupancy by two or more tents, recreational vehicles, or other movable dwellings. I was curious what the state defined it as, and theirs is four sites, four or more sites. Oh, mm -hmm. huh. um, I think two sounded good. Yeah, it means, it means, you, lot, means yeah. you can let your your uh, your college kid, your son's college friends, camp. So here, are. here's the new thing, though. Hmm? <laughs> I've already saw it with my neighbor. The people are airbnb their lots for campers to come and stay on them. Oh. So one is okay and two is... is yeah, there were three on this one. But I, but I mean, that would be the concept here. Do we, no, do I don't. We, I, do but we, I, I'm not against it. Do, I we, like, do we like that? That's... Um, well, and, and then how do you... What are you trying to say? How do you categorize that? Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. thinking, well... It, it, uh, yeah. yeah, it's a new. Yeah, thing, it's yeah. a new new sentence, sort of like yeah. the tenter yeah. thing that we yeah. we approved. But I was thinking three, and then once it gets to four, and then it's state. It needs a state definition. A state permit. Yeah. Well, two. well, designating something as a campground here. What are we trying to regulate? I mean, if it's just one, it's your friend. They're just there for however. Right. Um, What's her exact she's got to this, what, two or more? Is that what that says? Yeah, land, land use or temporary. Or intended to be used, land use or intended to be used for temporary occupancy by two or more tents, recreational vehicles, or other movable to, to dwellings. To me, campground is a commercial operation, and that would include an Airbnb campground. Yeah. People always yeah, yeah, have yeah. And you said Whether the state, once yeah. they get to four, it becomes, yeah. it's, it's they have to apply for a permit. Yeah. So then the, the key is there, it triggers some requirement to handle some other jurisdiction. sewage. Right, water and sewer. Mm -hmm. Water and sewer, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. And uh, some other things, I, I read you know, some other public safety things. So, I mean, I mean I'm fine with two, I just... Um, well, two gives you, gives us, you, us, whatever, the right to say something about it if it's more, or I guess if it's three, but once it goes to four, we don't have to worry. State jurisdiction. Yeah, I'm not sure. You... Just trying to determine uh, yeah. you know, what number we want to have to either allow yeah. us or not have to, you know, to say something or not have to worry yeah. about it. So we're on the definition right here, and we'll get to the part about how many. Well, I mean, yeah. this so one, does the definition work okay for, yeah, for folks? Yeah. Okay. I like the two. I guess more wiggle is better, right? This doesn't. Doesn't um, restrict the number. Yeah, um, yeah. Occupancy by two or more tents um, somewhere. We'll res we'll talk about the Does where it restricts the number. Tents. Yeah. yeah. Tents, recreational vehicles, or other movable dwellings. Oh, okay. Tiny houses. Um, and wheels. Yeah. yeah. Crap. All right. We're good with the definition. Yep. Two or more. All right. Um, scrolling down. Commercial use. Oh, I had a question on that one. Okay. Um, Is yeah. any building, structure, or land which is used for business or service and is conducted for financial gain, but excluding a home occupation, home industry, home business, or industrial? My question is why is industrial yeah, not Yeah, that commercial? was exactly my, I, I just think we should delete that. I would just delete or industrial. Unless... It's home industry. Well... Mm -hmm. What is home industry? Excluding. You can scroll down to that. No, no, but it's in the but, commercial but, use. But excluding mm -hmm. a home occupation. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why we would exclude oh, okay. industrial from as, as a commercial use. Um, well, because we define it separately. Yeah, I, I agree. Get rid of it. The rest of it fit. It, it, well, it's 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 weird how it, it just if she's saying that we're not counting it there, it's not clear to me. It feels I don't know. She said it was just their standard language. Yeah, I know. Well, I have a question. So are, so, are all these covered by other? They're all covered by other. We have them as de as definitions because they're somewhere else in there. That uh, so that. So they're trying to cut. Hmm. 
I just have, I, I guess, Maya, would you just show, show the, put, or industrial, and this is um, uh, the definition of commercial, um, put or industrial in quotes with a question mark, because it doesn't, it just doesn't, it seems to be hanging there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Scrolling down, I'm at um, Contractor Yard. I thought this was a nice addition. Yes. Yeah. Uh, an area owned, controlled, or operated by a contractor for the parking, uh, maintenance, or storage of large equipment, vehicles, or other materials commonly used in the individual contractor's type of business, components of which may include storage of scrap materials for repair and maintenance of contractor's own equipment and buildings or structures, for ancillary uses such as offices and repair facilities. A.K. Harvey's. Harvey's. Yep. Um, Charlie Smith. Smith. Yep. That was the one that came to my yeah. mind. Smith. Okay. Yeah. I, I like having this in here, and I think it's a good description of what we've kind of seen yeah. in places. Um, I have questions about where we're allowing it. prohibiting it and Parker. allowing it. Yeah. 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 So we're supposed to be letting her know on all of our thoughts here. Someone marking these down. Well, I think I, I think as long as we're happy, we, we we're, then we're going with what she has. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I think we tell her when we want to change. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. But like you said, we're going to have to follow that up with where we like it and where we don't. Right. Right. We'll get and, to that. And what our we'll rules of engagement are. Yep. Yeah. And the district uses will. Oh. We'll get oh, to oh, that. Oh yeah. Yeah. The where's. Yep. Right. Mm. All right. Dwelling unit. I didn't have any yeah, good questions about that. Anybody? No. Okay. Dwelling, dwelling. Robert Franks. Um, got a ghost. Dwelling multiple family. I don't. Uh, I didn't have any questions about that or single family. Uh, so I did have a question. We. Let's see if I can find this. Uh, uh, maybe it's maybe it's not oh, here. Okay, I got you. Um, I don't know there is a there, we we had talked about. Um, um, I does She she didn't like that we take the, 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 the yeah two duplexes in front. And anyway, do we yeah. all agree that that two units is multifamily, or do we want to distinguish between a duplex, a duplex and, a and a multifamily? Some towns do, and I'm not sure, I don't, well, I'm not would, sure. Why would you, I mean. Well, the only difference would be if the, half the building wasn't your family. I mean, you know, but. No, but, but, but. It's, but as but, far as the designation of the building. Th there's single yeah. family, and there's more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm fine I, with just multi. Family. Family. I thought well, that we came to that conclusion. I, I thought we had to. Yeah. And then we yeah. Yeah. quantify it with yeah. how many units yeah. we allow in, in different districts. So my, I'm not quite sure where this increase. goes because it came, comes up in a couple of places. Yeah. But just make a note that we all agreed last month that multi, we want multifamily to include two more. duplexes. Or solely by two, two, or two, more. two or more. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that's where it is. Uh, dwell, she has dwelling multifamily, and it says three or more. So it right. should say two or more. That's where it is. Dwelling multifamily. Hello? Hello? Robert? Yeah, it's Robert. Hey, Robert, do you have a comment on our zoning? Well, the comment is uh, pretty succinct. I don't think that Sandy Haas or the board should be making decisions with the public's decisions when you cannot manage your own minutes for four months. Thanks, Robert. We're, we're, we've gone beyond the discussion of the minutes, and we're working on the uh, on the whoa, 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 zoning whoa, changes. Wait a second. <laughs> No, Robert, just to be we're clear, not going past Robert, just to be clear, we are working on a draft of a proposed amendment that is going to be warned to the entire town, and there will be a public hearing on the draft that we recommend. So all the decisions that well, we're 
hearing tonight are about a rough draft. Well, I don't really care about the content of what you guys are discussing, but the delinquency of you and Dan and anyone else in executive position managing minutes to be dismissed, period. So you can go on till 10 or 11 o'clock tonight figuring out what you're going to do, but it's a major concern for a lot of people in Rochester. You, Sandy Haas, and Dan McKinley might not realize how many people are aware of this default of four months of minutes that aren't having and well, they were they they, they were updated, but Sandy, I can ask you questions on uh, the uh, uh, the agenda for August, September, October, November. Hey, Robert. And I guarantee Robert, you, I am going to. You will not. I'm going to cut you off, Robert. To, this so is I not the topic that we're working on. I don't think it's on. proper. I don't think it's proper for Dan McKinley or Sandy Haas to make to be making decisions when you guys cannot manage your minutes. Thank, thanks for that feedback, Robert. We're gonna move on and provide, um, uh, continue to do our uh, our edits on the, the zoning. Thank you, Sam, I guess. You did a while ago, too. Okay, so uh, yeah, we noted that we wanted that multifamily to be two dwellings or more. Okay, scrolling down. Earth resource extraction. Nothing there. Uh, family child care. Anyone have anything there? No, I thought that looked good, actually. Good. Farming. Julie, did we get it? Did we define <laughs> farming right? Good enough. Yeah. <laughs> good. Farm structure. I don't have anything on that. We're going to keep scrolling. Forestry practices. Uh, actually, again? I'm so sorry. Can we yep. go, go back to farming? Yes, we can. Because I did have a question. Back to the land. Back to the land. Um, I just found the, the wording in A a little weird. The cultivation or other use of land for growing food. It, and then then it goes, I don't know. The, the other use just sounded weird to me. Other use of land. Trees. Technically farming, but I mean it is or raising because then it kind of goes into the all. I don't know. Like what what is the other goat. use there? Other use? Oh, I, I mean, like, the other use of growing food, fire, raising, you know, cultivating it, but oh, it's raising. Still raising. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Or grazing. Yeah. Raising or grazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good. No, you're welcome. Um, forestry practices. I didn't have anything. You'd be the person to have that. <laughs> yeah, some experience. Just a little bit. Okay. I'm scrolling along. Group poem. It's one she asked us to uh, look at. Uh, drug addiction considered disability. Oh. Yes. It is. Yes. Okay. I'm so sorry. I Question. wrote down page numbers. Forestry practices. Is it? Do we think it's appropriate to include the HTTP in the bylaws, knowing that they might change? HTTP. It's in the in part one in the forestry practices. I just, just as a, these rules are available at HTTPS. So the link changes. Mm. Or, or uh, is that, well, we're not worried about it. We do a lot of it, though. You use all the statues, too. Yeah. But we don't link directly to the statues. I mm -hmm. think it's great that it's a... It, I, I think it's great. I just wonder... Um, um, what would be an alternative to just tell people to go to the uh, Vermont.gov um, Forest Parks and Recreation website or something? They could be looking for a while for specific. Okay. All right. If I mean, I think it's more helpful to have the HTTPS. Mm. I just, I'd never seen it before. Like, I, did, I haven't seen it in other places. Yeah. So right. that's, that was my question. Where are we? We're on forestry practices. practices page. What, what's, 
Page 72. Oh, 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 the, oh, the link. The yeah. link. Oh, I see. Uh, oh. Oh, I see. If that ever changes, then... Well, the advantage of yeah. having it in there is the rules change. You get an updated version of the rules. Could... Yeah, and you get the latest rules. Yeah. Could we Could we do both? Could we say these... The, the rules can be found at vermont.cov as of this date. This is the current... This is the current um, address. I don't know. So, yeah, and what would that do then if they went to that address and it's not there? Well, it would say, um, like, we could say, kind of do uh, do the sort of the general. Uh, this can be found at the Vermont government state of Vermont State website mm -hmm. under the forest forest parks and forest parks and recreation. As of 2023, this is the so, current. Here's my concern about that, because okay. I've been to this website without a lot of information. It's impossible to drill down and find what you're looking for. Yeah. So I, to me, it's the risk of them not finding it, giving them a general link, is higher than the risk of the forestry department changing the, changing the uh, address, you. changing the link. I'm yeah. suggesting that we do both. Huh. The, that we include the specific link, but also say, I don't know. Um, or we could just leave yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. These rules are available at this website, um, up to date as of well, January. Well, well this, this this whole document is going to have a, a, an effective date. This whole document mm -hmm. is going to be approved by the select board on, mm -hmm. you know, June 16th, 2023. Could we say as and of And we would probably be checking so. the links and every, on everything we mm -hmm. should. Um, Make sure they're still valid, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a double-edged sword. Yeah, yeah, I want to be more helpful. We, we want to be able to... It's also frustrating when you go to the link and take it. Well, I propose that we leave it as uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think if it changed, um, I think if you Googled um, forestry AMPs, and that's common vernacular for people interested in forestry practices. Okay. What is that? What is that? Um, AMP? Allowable, um, acceptable AMP. management AMP. practices. AMP. Right. Okay. Okay. Do you know the trees had AMPs? Okay, let's go down to group home, Resident, residential care, or group home that must be licensed or registered per state regulation and that serves persons who have a disability as defined by statute. Okay, that's good. good. And then, and then the question of whether we can, whether we can regulate, whether we can regulate where they go is a different question. Yeah, these are right. just. So will we cover that in the district when we look at the district yeah. uses? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, actually, um, no, Maya, make make a note on that. Um, uh, tell her that I, I have a question on group homes because I seem to recall that that there's a state statute that says that up to a certain number of residents, and I think this is it. Uh, no, this just says persons. Yeah, that up to a certain number of pe pe residents, they are they're protected under state statute, and can she check on that? Good. I'm down to home occupation. Uh, Sandy, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. To a certain number of... Um, uh, uh, what was it? What, it? Limited to a, I think it's, I think the number is eight, but, or six or eight, but, but I, but I believe there is a state statute that says you, you, you have to allow group, group homes of a certain size in every, in everywhere in the state. And can she check on that? And I, or, or, or do it a different way. It can, can we exclude them from any district? I don't think we can. Okay. Okay, home occupation. Any concerns there? Yep. Okay, scrolling. I love the deletion of hotel. 
Yeah. Was that a definition out of the wild, wild west or something? <laughs> <laughs> Building the <industry. laughs> oh, oh my God. That's pretty scary. Transients. Oh, oh, an interesting note on a hospital. Just, I know it wasn't part of the things, but home for the aged. I found very interesting that hospital is defined as one of the definitions is home for the aged, and it made me question whether the really? is the park house uh, so. my definition a hospital. Interesting, right? Community. They got that and I, the same book. They got the hotel I didn't definition. Know if it yeah. Required yeah. any yeah. any yeah. other? Yeah. And it's weird that it includes clinic. Because yeah. clinic clinic is. I mean, we have one of those. Yeah. And it's just, a, it's basically a doctor's, it's an office. Right. I mean... Yeah, you're not going to go get very much repaired there. No. Great. Let's make sure we're doing, looking through the district's allowable uses. Yeah. We have hospital in the Yeah, thanks for putting that. Because that, that actually came up in, uh, we should talk about that, it came up in Castleton. There's a really interesting... Um, uh, they, they, they're trying to do um, assisted live, uh, yeah, uh, an assisted living situation, and they're allowed to have X number of units of assisted living, but they can't have the nursing home that goes with it for when you can't feed yourself anymore because it's not because it's not allowed in that zone. Oh. Just made me really think about you know really? con continuity of care and all of that. So when we get to thinking about what's where. Can that be connected by some sort of accessory thing or? Well, no, there's. I, it, this is just the town of Castleton, and, you know, that's the way they read their zoning. So just yeah. we just be thinking about that as we go through this. Is that what we want? Well, they, if, with the change of how full life care now includes independent living right through memory care. Yeah. All in the same. Yeah. On, on the, the same, same campus, land, right? Yeah. Campus. yeah. yeah. Anyway, so that's for, for future reference. Okay. Uh, um, industrial heavy. Industrial light, I thought they were sort of helpful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I agreed. I thought they were great. Um, kennel, I thought was good yes. to have. And lodging. Um, okay, so really I'm... Um, describe a kennel. I think we need to really think what about this, have, like, what are the minimums and maximums on all of this? Yep. Yeah. Um, especially as we go by, Z when I looked at, when we get yeah, to the same, uses. Yeah, the same. Um, okay, so just... Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, mobile home, there was a change there. Mobile home park does not mean premises used solely for storage or display of mobile home. I guess that's... Okay. Principal building or structure? Anything there? Accessory yeah. building or structure connected principal. Oh, we did the recreation, private, outdoor. Oh, I didn't realize that was in there because I had questions. Let me read this. Yeah, and the uses. Where we at, Dan? Principal building. Recreation, private, outdoor. Recreation. Okay. See, what I was trying to distinguish there is, it's be, is it only because they charge money? What, what is the difference between yeah. public recreation and private recreation? Yeah, I would say private is private is, is, is a for-profit. For-profit, okay. Yeah. And I'm not sure that I, yeah. Would when that, we get, when we yeah. get to uses, I'm not sure that. Yeah, well, that's why yeah, I brought yeah, it up. Yeah, that's a different thing. Same, yeah. Would, yeah. would that be prudent to, oh, never mind, it's in there, sorry. Yeah, you know, I mean, to me, the definition seems okay, but now I've got to rethink some of the uses, so where, what it, where it's prohibited. Where? I would change you know. the word private. I, the, the commercial outdoor recreation, I mean, private to me sounds like somebody has private recreation facilities on there. Like it's like right. I have my own golf course? Yeah, or you have your own swimming pool. Uh, or, uh, just, yeah. to me, I think that's why I was confused about yeah. what, what it is. Well, that's the way I read it when I looked at the uses yeah. on there, like, Okay. Now, so, not that I have, you know, billions of dollars, but, you know, if I had the acreage and wanted to build a private golf course. So, what, well, what about we just commercial. Change, I let my friends change. come and play. Leave it. We like having recreation I mean, together. And yeah. we don't want to. Why don't we just do recreation, that, comma, commercial, we are not outdoor, allowed to say and recreation, comma, public private outdoor. golf course. Yeah. What are you suggesting, Sam? Isn't commercial and public the same thing? Or no. did you mean to say private? No, no. Private, open to the public. Well, <laughs> the public, public means it's, it's owned by the community. Right. Um, yeah. I, I was thinking of, of 
Dave makes a good point, though, because you can, you know, somebody bought White River Golf Club and they could make it a private club where they're not charge anybody for it. Where you, if, you, if somebody had a lot of land, they wanted to build a golf course, I guess what prevent them from doing that if they're not, it's not a commercial operation. Mm -hmm. And would that exclude us or deny us from saying, hey, you can't have a golf course in this zone? I mean, uh, the Willows you know, is mean, a great example of that. Kind of a great thing, yeah. but. Yeah, backyard golf course. Yeah. People have them. I mean, what about the, the tennis court up at Hawk? Would that be. That's great. I mean, That's <laughs> private, private. It's very <laughs> private. Oh, well, yeah. They have, I they have a charge little, for they it. They have a little playground there, too. And, okay. and, and of private, course, maybe yeah. the pond is part of that facility as well. It's private, non-commercial. Okay. Private, non-commercial. So, so I like commercial in here. Right? Yeah, right. I do too. Okay, okay so Maya, our, our recommendation is it should say recreation, comma, commercial, outdoor, instead of private. Recreation, comma, commercial, outdoor, instead of private. Is that right? Yes. Correct. Instead of yep. private, outdoor. Yeah. All right. Did Retail. You, did you mean that one for the private one or the public one? I mean, because. For the, the private. private. I meant that for the private, private one. one. Yeah. This is going to be replaced with commercial. Commercial. So does that not just turn it into a public for then, then there's just, then the public is publicly owned. Okay. Is, Mm -hmm. Right. I'm just trying to figure out how, what, what we were separating. Yeah. There. Well, it, it'll be good because the definition still has the word private in it. The private club for profit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we're golden. Yeah. I think we're golden. Sweet. Okay. Primary and secondary retail. Those are ones she called out for um, review. Yes. What do y'all think we can use better? But then you can see later, yeah. there's a later definition of why the lumber yards are different. Just in case. Three bears. <laughs> this is the way over there. This is actually, I could probably go with this one for these right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then when I get up close and personal, I got this bag. <laughs> hey. All right. It's, it's too cheap to buy prescription Early. lenses. That's, right. that's all that. Retail, Retail secondary. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have anything. Right. Well, yeah. um, well. Well, number one, um, if you look at uh, retail primary, it says a use whose primary use. And if you look at secondary, it says a business whose primary use. It seems to me that the first one ought to say a business mm -hmm. whose primary use. Right. Okay. Good. So, um, Maya, uh, retail, comma, primary, a business like whose that. primary use. Yeah, use of primary use is not proper grammar. Um, and then I, I have, I just have a lot of trouble with the second sent, the last sentence of secondary. secondary. Number one, we don't have any mixed use areas, or if we did, we need to define them. And number two, four thousand square feet for secondary retail is really big. And we had mm -hmm. talked about um, mm -hmm. about putting a limit on primary retail. I saw it at three thousand. At three thousand. Right. So. Um, you know, so the, I think those are But the two. building would have to be, in order to meet the other criteria, the building would have to be over 8,000 square feet. Well, no, just think about, the, just work with the number three for a minute and think about primary. No, no, I agree oh, with you. Oh, oh, I'm just telling you. Oh, to, the, to qualify as secondary use, you have to be less oh, than they mix. Oh, less oh, than oh. so that's a big building. It would be huge, yeah. yes. Yeah. 
So do we want, and do we want, I looked at the, um, I looked at those other examples that she gave us of limitations and they're bigger oh, places, but they had, one of them had 6,000, one of them had 4,500, I think one of them had 3,500. Um, but do we want to put up, do we want to put a limit on primary retail and if so, what? Oh, that is a touchy bugger. Yeah. I wonder what Max, Max uh, is a big, because that's a fairly big building. Yeah, it's going to be bigger than 3,000 square feet. Right. Is it in, in, the, in the retail mm -hmm. section? Well, I'm talking about the Max supermarkets on yeah. retail. Yeah. Well, the back section is storage and well, function. Or does it all come from the same? Well, I, I, I think we could say. Yeah. We we could say Thanks. you know maximum three three thousand. Well, you could you could have of, of retail space. That gets tricky though. You could have a shoe store going with you know five hundred square feet of retail space and be huge. I mean, when does it constitute a warehouse? Uh -huh. uh, and, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. I think you need to include all the space that makes up the that retail works. establishment. Right. Can we leave this without the? Um, Space limitation because we think we put the space limitation in the district, didn't we? Say it in. I know we've talked about three thousand foot. It's in there somewhere, and, and they were questioning why we needed that. Um, why did she put it in the secondary definition? <laughs> so I, I, I propose in the secondary. I propose that we just delete the, the last sentence. What's mixed use area? Is that where you have apartments up top and you yes. tell yeah, below? Get them both in there. Yeah. Yeah. So we might end up cafe. with something like that. But the retail space has to be smaller than the residential space. Is it? The way this reads. Multi-story mixed use building, mixed use area. Total. I'm not quite sure how that works if it's a two-story building. Two-story building should be the same. Is that? Yeah, I'm fine with is that. Is that trying to describe like the? The, the country store of the cafe. Even better, the hardware store and laundromat. Yeah. And the apartments. Oh. Some apartments above it. And the apartments. Yeah. Is that that's what this is use. really trying to... I think that's what constitutes mixed use. Mm-hmm. I support just getting rid of the square footage requirement right. and deal with it in the... Okay. Yeah. So let's be clear with what we want to want Maya to tell her. I've lost it. So um, lost my basically, okay. Maya and this... Can you hear me? No. Maya, can you hear us? Maya? Maya, are you there? Can you hear us? I'm sorry, my buttons were not working properly. It's very hard to hear Greg and Christine and Dave. It's hard to hear them. What's your suggestion, Greg? Yeah, on, so on retail secondary, can you hear me now? Uh, can you be a little louder? Then I should get it. It's yeah. close. No, I, on the retail secondary section, the last sentence, have it end after total residential floor space. Get rid of and any individual retail use does not exceed 4,000 square feet. Okay, so it's in the last sentence you want the last part of it and in the individual, and what are the last few words of that sentence or that part you want removed? The, the whole, the remainder of the sentence. She doesn't have it in front of her. No, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it should end after total residential floor space period and get rid of and any individual retail use does not exceed 4,000 square feet. Okay. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Thanks. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, anything on required agricultural practices? <clears throat> Service business? Yeah, I'm trying. You did it. I had a question on that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Very patient. She made the comment that she added a definition used in our regional plan. Some service businesses may include secondary retail. Oh, so it's a combo. What would be a good example of that? Um, Oh, there is a there is a typo. Like North Hollow Farm, I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking of somebody that has a retail. Yeah, actually, North Hollow Farm qualifies as that. Yes. I'm not sure what the service component of their business is, though. I'm thinking well, they of. They did have a, a sales store yeah. up at the farm there, but. It's almost like if Harvey's had a retail, you know, they do a plumbing and. Oh, and, sell and, a few and, parts and, and sell parts and pieces, yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't know if we have any little shops like that. Yeah. We just sell odd bits. Well, actually, something like um, CB Oil, would, not, even though not in Rochester, CB Oil would be that, right? They sell product and service. Both something, somebody that sells products and services. Um, hmm. yeah. I can't think of it. Not in Rochester, but Larry's, Larry's Power Equipment. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He used to sell some motors. Yeah. Right, workshop service. Yeah. Buy a file up front. Mm -hmm. You find it, Sandy? No, I guess I'm okay, okay. with it. All right. I can't we'll slide down then. Short term rental. She wanted us to look at this. I, Not more than one unit temporary lodging. Did you have something on that? I, I was wondering. I'm sorry, if you wanted to read it out, it sounded like you were going to read it out, yeah. but um, I'm wondering why um, why it has to be not more than one unit of temporary lodging, because I'm thinking of several. Um, I mean, if we're, does this bleed into Airbnb? Um, and uh, I look at the Woodstock sort of list of litany of things. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm just thinking of like, for example, Gordy Merrill's many unit building of uh, temporary lodging, which is the entire building, I believe, has four or five units in it. And I so think she it, grabbed these out of two state statutes, these yeah. definitions. The short-term rental came out of one statute, and the transient traveling or vacation public 30 consecutive days came out of another statute. So hmm. I'm According to her comments, I'm yeah. I'm wondering. I was wondering if there's more. It seemed weird what was going on there with that sentence. Yeah. Well, I, I would agree. Um, what about we just strike the word not? <clears throat> promoting one or more, saying, or a building providing one or more unit of temporary lodging? I mean, it's going to provide one or more. Or I mean, it's a short term. Or is it just simply a building that provides temporary lodging? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, then it becomes, it rolls into the other definitions, boarding house, hotel. Yeah, true. Mm. But, yeah, but it's, it's different because of the number of days. And well, the boarding house is 30. And this yeah. is less than oh, fewer. This yeah. is less than thirty. And more than fourteen per calendar year. I like that. Yeah, you know, because that, there are folks that have two apartments in a building and the Airbnb, both of them. Yeah. Corey's yeah. an example there. And I could do that. I could do um, rent out rooms in my house, multiple rooms. Right. Yeah. So I don't think it's. So we good on the building providing temporary lodging. Okay, so Maya, we're striking not more than one unit of. What's the rest of this? What's for the blacked out section? That's where she's commented. Um, <laughs> fewer than 30 consecutive days. Uh, there are people that do short term rentals in excess of that. Um, like our neighbor did one for the Middlebury College summer oh. semester that was oh. um, six weeks. Um, and then it, it bleeds into the yeah, it's bleeding into definitions. Yeah. 
when you go over 30 days, you're bleeding into the other definitions. Yeah. And then when does it just become a house rental? Or a yeah. apartment rental? Which we like. Well, they're longer term. <laughs> no, I know. Right. I, well, I, I, you know I, I, when does folks used to do that, you know, rent the place out for the whole summer? They go, yeah. they go live in the corn crib. Right. Well, renovated corn crib. Yeah. Um, so they rent out two apartments. That, that still fits under this definition of one year of temporary lodging. Say it again. We got rid of the one uh, yet. Okay. Yeah, I guess you have to, to use the word building. Yes. If you use dwelling, it works better. I, I mean, it's not a big deal yeah. for me, even though I'm, I mean, I've never no. rented to anyone for 30 days. And it would, if it did happen, it would be infrequent. So. Are we gone? I'm all right with it. Short term. Want to move on? Yeah. Can I just confirm before you move on that last thing that you asked uh, that you want me to say that you're taking out, that was in short term rentals, right? Correct. You could take out not more than one unit. Correct. Correct. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that may be where we're going to have to go ahead and kick on Zoning board of adjustment. Anyone need a definition there? <laughs> Can we get hats? <laughs> <laughs> and must have hats in proviso. Because <laughs> All right. Don't know who I am. Do we get the Z? Do we get the Z? We got the ZB. That's good because she's going to be very disappointed in this yeah. whole topic that we did not cover yet. <laughs> she we had a couple yet. of sidetracks. She needs to know our sidetracks. Well, I just want to. If, if, I, I got crazy trying to think about uses until I printed out. She gave us a separate mm -hmm. yeah, I'll cheat sheet. Um, and, and I found that a really easy way to think about right. to think about everything. So I did mm -hmm. use that. Yeah, I, I did too. Yeah. That was yeah. an easy way to look at it. But, but what I didn't understand, she had some in there where she had not allowed and permitted under the. I, I think I think that that was I think well, the one that I this I see that for is lodging. And I think that's where we need to think about number of units, like, like in the in, I, I would say that that Harvey's, you know, can have six rooms, but it can't have forty rooms, you know, just as a, you know. So. But I but I but I wouldn't say that it's not allowed, and she does. I mean, so that's the, yeah. the, we've got a lot of things to think about yeah, on that yeah. stuff. Yeah. I think we want we want those kinds of places to be at, up in the hills if they can mm -hmm. be. Um, so it's 8.30, it's a school night. Yeah. <laughs> and the Celtics are playing. Yeah. And the Celtics are playing. Uh. Um, and I start to get a little brain weary at this point. Um, what we could do, I mean, we didn't get as far as sure that Sarah would want us to go. We could tell her not to come back in February. And we Correct. Could yeah, so we call I, again. I, I, yeah. think, I think that's what we should do because we, have, we, know, we, we know we have a Warren subdivision. Um, and we may have, yeah, we know we have at least one more subdivision. Yeah. And, and we've, we've seen the average current visitors that, that may come again. Yeah. And, and now that we've done the definitions, I would start at the beginning of the document and walk right yeah. through it. it it's, yeah. And rather than walk around. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm not sure she's ready for us to do that. She hasn't completed. It, it, she, well, look pretty complete. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I'm just. I mean, I mean she has a lot of a lot of open questions that she wants to answer along yeah. the way. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you yeah. definitely yeah. want to look at her comments. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I have. That's where I she have asked her detailed questions. But she, okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Uh, just a suggestion. I, I started trying to follow her sheet and going around and finding. It. I finally said, I'm just going to read the document. <laughs> that's and then, that's yeah. what I did. So. Yeah. Yeah. And she, she, I'm so glad that she did the in document comments. I found oh, them very she's good. Super helpful. Very very. She's very good. And I find it yeah. easy to, I find it, well, anyway, you can use yeah. Word or use uh, Google Docs. I find it easier to do it in Google Docs. But I also found them very yeah. educational, just in terms of, the, I think there was one comment of, um, 
this shouldn't be here. <laughs> you know, this isn't the appropriate spot for this. So yeah. it was really yeah. very yeah, good okay. to have her. So we'll um, well done. Um, and let later. her know that yeah. we uh, will continue on this work in March. Um, I'm going to make yeah. a motion to adjourn unless we're still doing other old business. Or do, we need to, do we need to talk about the um, proposed um, uh, solar thing at um, North Hollow Farm? Where is that? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we got, um, got a 45-day notification last month. This is the this is it's, it's GP like a, yeah it's like it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a gee we're we're planning to do this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But sometimes as, do you sometimes have to um, indicate that you want to be a, a what do you call it a interested party? Intervener. Well, this up in can we intervene? Do we have intervention status? I, I, I think we have hard status. Yeah, I think. I think so. Hmm. Your ability to come in on the project. This is part of the microgrid project that mm -hmm. GMP is doing. Yeah, so this project is, um, GMP is uh, this project to do um, a microgrid with battery storage that would part of this um, resiliency island project for small communities to have some backup power during a... Where about the... Um, uh, that? We're going to give up pit space. With like yeah. unlimited amounts of digging they could do there over time. And there's a lot of stuff in that bag. Well, that's their, they're doing it. They are, they are the land of partner. The old dump site or something, but maybe they don't get enough uh, yeah. exposure. Actually, where are you thinking? Uh, right, right, just across the 73 bridge. Yeah. By the, okay. The old, the old dump. Oh, you're thinking Twitchell's dump? No, 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 the, the old town dump. Oh, the way back. Way back. Uh, maybe that's where it'll be. You know, up over the hump. Behind yeah. the barn, down that stretch. You, if you get in there and you walk towards that old trestle that's in the middle of the river. But behind my house. <laughs> yeah. Across the river. Across the river. That was the old dump? Yeah. <laughs> you don't need some to know. You don't need to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, well, well that that's, explains that's a, a couple of things. I took the way back machine to get that one, yeah. Just across the river from the well protection area? Yeah. Which is just downhill from the cemetery. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. You know, fine. we like to keep things anyway. small and, you know. Just the uh, entire epic system number anyway. one. <laughs> so, um, to make recommendations to the PUC and to us, Norwich Technologies, who's leading the project, it. consulting the project, um, at least seven days prior to the expiration of this 45 day notice. It's a great spot for it. We it's got a built-in screening. We anticipate filing the application on or after Limited January 16th. Exposure. All joining landowners and In host landowner will receive notice of the application filing. Yeah, it shadows. But most of Rochester shadows pretty quickly. Oh, um, yeah. once you go around the corner, yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, I get beautiful western. Funnily yeah. enough, that spot was, was one of the higher rated Areas for solar on the um, GIS map that um, that that field up there. Wouldn't you think that you know, mm -hmm. yeah, Reader and um, Austin Hill would be shadowing that, but huh. it's one of the better sites. Actually, you, you, you know, you've got, energy you've, map. you've got exposure to the northeast in the summertime, so the sun rises in the northeast in yeah, the summer. You do get it early, yeah. yeah, but it shadows fairly quickly. In the, in the so we can make recommendations. Um, at least seven days prior to the expiration of this 45-day notice. Would you like to do that? No. Um, is there any reason to be supportive? I mean, to be have, do that and be supportive of the, of the project? Well, we have, they haven't asked us yet for that. I think we might want to be. But I suspect they're going to come to us for one of those letters. Mm -hmm. oh, the yeah. property owner, you mean, or, or, or a the preferred owner. site or the letter? Builder. Yeah. yeah, right. I would say a gravel pit would be a preferred site. That's yeah, that's a great. <laughs> <that's what laughs> that's 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 what they consider a gray site or whatever that term was. Brown, 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 brown site. Yeah, yeah. yeah. gray site, brown, 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 br
Yeah, so we can Purple go site. through our... Plus, it's it's got built-in screening. You can't see. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Good right. It's a good spot. It's a good project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a cool project. Yeah. I think. I do, too. Um, it's not right. as cool as the Celtics, though, right, Julie? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we won't uh, reply to this letter, but we'll be... Um, Waiting with bated breath for yeah, that. Anticipate that anticipatory. So you that request for want a letter from the landowner? No, no, I just I just wanted to make sure we didn't have to do anything with this and I don't think we do. Oh, yeah. okay. that was that was all we were doing. Okay. When they, they'll eventually come to us for a letter of preferred right. site status, right. I think. Right. Preferred right. site. Mm -hmm. I imagine if they're gonna be getting grants and stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure how the funding's working for it actually. I know GMP's kicking in. I believe the battery component of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Norwich Solar is just developing it as a commercial solar site, you know, with battery backup. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Somebody made a motion to second. Join. Yes. <laughs> Maya. Oh, oh. Motion. Maya. Maya, your hands up. Yes. Uh, I just wanted to confirm that I heard right that your your decision was to not do anything about that solar microgrid right now, but you're going to wait and see what they bring to you next. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good way to put it. Thank you again, Maya. Thanks, Thank Maya. You. Thank you, Maya, very much. You're very good.